Hello everybody, this video is going to be about mammoths, and there is something really weird going on about mammoths. Really weird. You can read book, after book, after book, on mammoths, and they aren't going to tell you the truth. They aren't going to tell you how mammoths went extinct. And guess what? No, The people who write books about mammoths, I'm sorry to say, have not tackled this question. For one reason or another, they haven't tackled the question of what happened to the mammoths. And very often they say hunting, it was hunting, that's a, that's a newish theory, uh, but it's an old theory as well. Or they say, uh, they say climate change, uh, or they say catastrophe. But do you know what? None of this makes any sense at all when we look at the evidence on the ground. The evidence on the ground shows us that our science has not caught up with what happened to the mammoths. And I'll prove that in this video, just right now. I'm going to prove that right now. This here is mammoth blood. And it's been extracted from a frozen mammoth. Now, one would presume that if a mammoth is found for, and this is this is in 2013, one would presume if a mammoth is frozen in the tundra, uh, it, it 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 would have um, it would have rotted away if if uh, if it was a, a seasonal sort of frost. But uh, a mammoth like this, it's extracted in permafrost, and. Very often they're extracted in permafrost. Do they, did they just go for a walk up north towards the cold regions on their own? What happened? And you see, it's so cute. It's got this uh, sort of red fur and stuff. They're bringing them back, by the way. They will bring them back. Uh, they're going to de-extinct them. Peter Thiel is funding this, and it's going to be very exciting. Everyone wants to have a, a cute mammoth as a pet, I'm sure. And that's the hoof. This is one of the best preserved mammoths ever. And what's going on here? This is unbelievable. Because these mammoths are frozen. Why are they frozen? They shouldn't be frozen. If we've come out of the Ice Age, as, uh, as we seem to have come out of the Ice Age. These were found in mammoth bellies. Okay. And these were found in mammoth bellies as well. And this is what the tundra looks like today. So how do we explain any of this? I, I don't know. This is the taiga. Most much of Russia, actually, this is this is very south Russia, but much of Russia is taiga, which is is forest. And if we, and again, this is this is the tundra, the permafrost. It, it's always frozen all year round, and this is what's supposed to have happened. This is thousands of years ago in this direction, and these are three different ice core readings. What they do, they look at the the number of bubbles in the ice. They take a long sample, look at the bubbles, and the temperature shows you the amount of bubbles shows you the or the the the, uh, the concentration of CO two in the bubbles shows you the pressure, which shows you the temperature at a particular time in history. So that's like reading tree rings. So this is the last 10,000 years here. And when scientists discovered this, they said, wow, there's this huge um, fl violent fluctuation in Earth's temperatures. And it appears this is partly responsible for the current human civilization, this, this relative stability. And the mammoths died in some catastrophe around here. So it was supposedly all tropical temperatures when it was, say, six, seven degrees colder on average. And now when it's six, seven degrees warmer, it's Siberia. Guys, do you see what's going on here? This picture is a bit fuzzy. That's the tundra. So we see many mammoths are found up here. But much of Siberia is rather a, a refrigerator, actually. So the tundra actually goes down a bit further than this. Tiger step. Uh, it, it's a desert. It's a, Russia is a collection of uh, inhospitable landscapes, it seems. But what's going on here? Well, Charles Hapgood. It's got to be Charles Hapgood, and he's responsible for pole shift theory, crustal shift. While at Springfield College, a student's question about the lost continent of Mu prompted a class project to investigate the lost continent of Atlantis, leaving Hapgood to investigate possible ways that earth, massive earth changes could occur, exposing him to the literature of Hugh 
on uh, whatever his name is, Brown. In 1958, Hapgood published The Earth's Shifting Crust, which denied the existence of continental drift and featured a forward by Albert Einstein in Maps of Ancient Sea Kings, 1966, Path of the Pole. Hapgood proposes the hypothesis that Earth's axis had shifted numerous times during geological history. The Path of the Pole was meant as a replacement for the Earth's shifting crust after corrections were suggested to him. Now, this is possibly what happened, and it is still too radical to be discussed, but it possibly explains what happened to the mammoths. Now, leave your opinion in the comments. I don't know what happened to the mammoths. All these videos that I've made, they're all ideas. I think they're correct ideas, or they're on the right track, but they're just ideas. They might be wrong. And anyway, you have your say. All the comments are there. Don't forget to check old videos as well, because there's lots of comments on old videos. People are making new comments on old videos all the time. I don't have time to look at them all, but you can have a look and see what people are reporting. People are adding new research and new discoveries as well, I've been noticing. And um, stay tuned. i got some really good videos coming up, some earth-shattering evidence for a, a super-lost civilization. It's, it's unbelievable stuff. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Bye.